In this video, we're going to look at some very basic ideas of exponents. And this is going to be sixth grade level. At least that's when I got, that's what I got from my granddaughter. Some of the things she's doing in the sixth grade, she's having trouble with it. So I'll go ahead and do this video. Hopefully it'll help somebody else. There's properties that we can go through, but in this video, I want to take an intuitive approach. So the only thing I'm going to look at is one basic definition. B to the N power. So b to the n, or the nth, nth power of b, where b is called the base, and n is the exponent. An exponent can be negative, can be positive, it could be a fraction, could be a decimal. But in this particular video, we're going to just look at the case where the exponent is a positive integer. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. So what I have here is... If you have a base b taken to some exponent or some power n, that's the same thing as writing out n factors and then just multiplying those out. So let's start off with some basic examples. So if I write 2, and then I put a 3 up here, 2 is the base, 3 is the exponent. So that tells me that to compute this out, I write this base out three times as a factor. So I write two times two times two, and then I compute that out. So you do two at a time. So okay, two times two, look at this first, and that gives me four. Then I get another two over here, times two. This comes out to eight. Now if I switch it around, let's say I write this out, three, See, now 3 is the base, and 2 is the exponent. The same thing, I write out the base as a factor, whatever the exponent is. So this is 3 is a factor, 2 times. 3 times 3 then gives me 9. The mistake that's often made by students is say, instead of doing this, uh, doing the factors like this, they'll say 3 times 2. They'll multiply the exponent times the base. In this case, that doesn't work. 3 times 2 is 6. doesn't give you 8. Or over here in this case, you don't want to go 2 times 3 to get the answer. 2 times 3 is 6. doesn't give you doesn't give you a 9. Let's suppose you have 2 to the 4th plus 3 to the 3rd. So there's a plus sign between these two. So that says figure out what this is. That's a number. Figure out what this is. And then you add the 2. So 2 to the 4th means 4 factors of 2. It's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And then you multiply this 2 at a time. So here you can go 2 times 2 is 4. And over here you got 2 times 2 is 4. And then those get multiplied. This is all multiplication. So then 4 times 4. 16. And then you're adding here. So this is 16 plus. And then we want to look at what it, what number is this. So 3 to the third means 3 factors of 3. So it's 3 times 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. And you get another 3 to multiply by. 3 times 9 is 27. So now you got 16 plus 27. Slide them up. And 6 and 7. 13. Carry the 1. We got 2 and 1 is 3 and 1 more is 4. So that comes out to 43. What happens if you add this situation? 2 to the 4, to the 4th power, instead of adding here, I suppose this was 3 to the 3rd. So 2 to the 4th times 2 to the 3rd. Well, you would start off the same way, and you'd have to figure out, okay, what is what is this 2 to the 4th, and what is 3 to the 3rd, and then multiply them out. Well, we already figured it out over here. So you can say, okay, 2 to the 4th, or factors of 2, we did it here. 
is 16. And then 3 of 30 is 27. You wind up with that. And then you just multiply those out. You get 432. Just point out a few things to you. Once you learn how to work with exponents, then it carries over to variables. So if you have, say, x to the second times, say the base is the same, x to the third. See, we don't know what x is here. They don't tell us what x is. So here all I can do is say, well, I got, I got two factors of x and three factors of x over here. So this is all multiplication. So if I put x times x, and this is the multiplication, so x times x times x. So how many fa how many factors of x do I have? One, two, three, four, five. So another way to write this instead of this way, I can write that as the base is x and the exponent is five. Notice that's the same thing as adding these exponents. Two factors of x and three factors of x, it's five factors. So if you have the same base, so let me make uh, the base a two there. This other base a two. So, okay, what is this? What is this giving me? Two factors of two, that's two times two, that would be four. And then three factors of two, that's two times two times two, that would be eight. 4 times 8 is 32. Now another way I could write this, you see I have two factors, I got here with the x, but here, here I have a number, I have two factors of 2 and three factors of 2, so all together I have how many factors of 2? Well 2 and 3 is 5, so another way to write this is 2 to the 5th. Now you can do that when the base is the same. If this space had been a 5, then I couldn't put it as like this. Because of the same base, I can do it. So I can say 2 to the 2nd, and 2 to the 3rd is 2 to the 5th. And then if I want to go further and give an actual value for 2 to the 5th, I can say that's 5 factors of 2. So 2 to the 5th would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And I just multiply this out. 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 more is 8. Times 2 more is 16. Times 2 more is 32. Another way to do, let's say I have x to the 6 over x to the second. x here is just a variable. It could represent a number but we're not told what the number is. So we want to just simplify this out. And we can look at this and say, well, in the numerator I have six factors of x. In the denominator I have two factors of x. So notice, I could write it this way. So again, x to the six means six factors of x. In the denominator, x to the second means two factors of x. These are all multiplications here. So I had a factor of x, factor of x, so I can cancel this. Just cancel this one and cancel this one. Cancel this one and cancel this one. Okay. So these these just become ones. When you divide it out, these, these just become ones. One here, one here. So you multiply anything by one, it gives you the same thing back. So what do I have in the numerator then? I have one, two, three, four factors of x. That's x to the fourth times 1, that's still x to the 4th, divided by 1 times 1 is 1, so x to the 4th divided by 1 is still x to the 4th. So what does this tell me then? So this tells me that if I have a base 2 power divided by the same base to another power, notice, subtract the exponents, 2 from 6, 6 minus 2 is 4, because that's what we did here. 6 factors, and then 2 factors, and then we just cancelled those out, and we get the same thing if I subtract the exponents. So that would tell me then if I have something, let's pick another variable, say I have y to the 20th power. 
divided by y to the fifth power. What does that simplify to? If I just want the simplified form of the answer with, with that variable. Well, think about it. What we did over here, I have 20 factors of y over 5 factors of y. So if I do the same thing I did over here, I can, I can cancel out 5 of the factors in the numerator. But if I, so I take 5 factors away from 20, that's going to give me y to the 15th. And all the y's in the bottom there would divide out or cancel. So this would be just y to the 15th over 1. Which is the same thing as y to the 15th. So the intuitive notion here is that if you're multiplying powers or, and by a power we mean an exponent. Okay, so the powers here are 20 and 5. If you're multiplying powers of the same base, we just bring the exponent. Or we just bring down the base, rather, and add the exponent. So if I have x to the 7th times x to the 4th, and the base is the same, okay, this won't work if the base are different. This is an x and this is a y. Just bring down the base. And I got seven factors here and four factors here. Altogether, I got seven and four is 11. I got that. That's what it comes out to. Now, you, you can do the same thing with numbers. But here, since we don't have the numbers, we have to give the answer with the variable. So the same thing over here. We did here. If you're dividing powers, when you're multiplying powers to the same base, just bring down the base at the exponents. When you're dividing power to the same base, division here, we bring down the base and subtract the exponents. 5 from 20. 5 from 20 is 15. So that's just an intuitive approach. There are properties of exponents that we'll go into, and I've done some on more advanced uh, videos. Uh, this is uh, for 6th grade level. So I'll stop here for now, and we'll follow up with this later on. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.